Hi everyone, I'm back home as you can tell. Today is Saturday, May 14th. I've been home for almost a week now actually. Um, so sorry this video has taken so long, but you know, I've been adjusting to being back home. But this video is on the Canary Islands, a day trip I took the day before I left. So last Saturday, actually a week from today, I went to Tenerife with my friend Maha uh, and we did lots of really cool stuff. We did a really cool excursion, so um, I don't want to give too much away. This video is shorter, but I'll let you all watch. We took off early as usual. I think the plane left at like 6.50 a.m. and it was a three-hour plane ride, but the Canary Islands are an hour behind Madrid. So we only lost two hours in the flight, if that makes sense. But the sunrise was absolutely beautiful. It was all pink and orange. So lovely. There's just some mountains we were flying over. And then as we were landing, we could see the ocean, which is so pretty. We were so excited. Then we took a taxi to our first excursion, which was kayaking. We got wetsuits, which was so fun. Um, it was so hot, even though it was like 9 a.m. still. We got, we definitely tanned. So then we got to get out of the kayak and go swimming. And these were some videos our instructor took on the GoPro. Um, and see, it's just like, it was so beautiful. You can see a dolphin over there. We're gonna get better videos of that in a second. Um, but don't wanna spoil it yet. So they're beautiful cliffs. We kayaked about six kilometers is what they said, which is like, I don't know, like two and a half miles, I think. Um, so we got to swim and we saw this pretty green sea turtle, which was just beautiful. Um, and we got to swim with it. You can kind of see us in the background there. We didn't get too close. This was our instructor taking the video. See, there we all are back there. Um, the water was so refreshing, even though it was hot out. I mean, even though the water was cold, it was hot out, so it was very nice. As you can see, the turtle's so cute. We saw about like six or seven turtles just in the open ocean. We saw a lot of loggerhead turtles, a few green sea turtles. They were all very curious, so they just kept popping their head out. Um, and we had to be quiet because we were feel loud. They were making noise. And here's the dolphin. We kayaked over by the dolphins, kept our distance once again. Our instructor took these videos and they were just it was so cool like the dolphin was right next to us it swam under our kayak because towards the end i got tired of rowing so the, the instructor tied us to him to like his kayak so he helped us row but because of that we kept getting really close to all the animals because he would spot them first and then pull us over there which is really cool so you could see all of that you can see the dolphin in the background there see there it is underwater it's so cool um it was, oh my god, this is probably like the coolest excursion I've ever done. It was literally like so close, I can't even explain it. There's like the mainland over there, so like that's where we kayaked from. Here's just a school of fish that was swimming, so that was kind of cool to see. It was like a Nemo. Um, it was so fun, it was nice to enjoy the sun and like the water. However, did get tan lines from the wetsuits. Um, and then we went to lunch. We were supposed to have a paragliding excursion, but the like wind conditions weren't ideal, so... We just went to lunch and we sat there for a while. Um, it was really sunny out. I got sunburnt, which you'll see in a little while. So we decided just to lay on the beach for the few more hours we had because we only went for the day. So as you can see, the beaches, there were a lot of people, but I think it was just because it was a really nice day. It was so beautiful. The cliffs in the background, loved it. Here's some pictures we took out near the water. Um, I had a really good time. I really enjoyed it. I needed the sun. I needed the water. You know, Madrid's landlocked, so this was really nice. This was the cutest little girl tanning next to her dad. Anyways, this is my sunburn. It was pretty bad, actually. And then these kids built a little fort with the palms. Um, there were palm trees everywhere, so that was fun. And then we walked. We were trying to catch the bus. We ended up missing the bus and had to take a taxi all the way to the airport, which was far because we had to go to the other end of the island. But that's besides the point. So this is just some pictures of the view. You can see all the pretty mountains in the background and the hills. So you can see back there, pretty roads, very like islandy. Um, I don't really know how else to explain it. Um, so we ended up taking a taxi. This was our ride there. We were exhausted, um, but it was really pretty. We got to drive along the water. Maha was sleeping. I wanted to sleep, but I couldn't fall asleep. Um, and there's some more little towns as we were driving. They were so cute. And then we got back to the airport, grabbed a snack, and I flew back to Madrid because I had to come home the next day. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed the last video of my study abroad. I ended up, I counted the other day, but now I'm going to forget. I think I went to 10 countries, 16 cities, and three continents, which was absolutely incredible. And as you guys see, I loved each and every place I went to. I miss it already, and it's only been a week. 
Um, I'm definitely gonna be back in Europe. One of my really good friends is studying there in the fall, so maybe I'll go visit her, we'll see. Um, uh, as of getting back home, I have been severely jet lagged this week. I have been falling asleep at like 5, 6 p.m. and then waking up at like 6 a.m. every day. Um, it was a little better today, so we're getting there an hour at a time. Um, but I am happy to be back home for a little while to see all of you, of course, if I haven't seen you already. Um, and I think that's basically it, but if I travel anymore in the future, I'll definitely let you all know, send you pictures. Um, and I really hope you enjoyed it as much as I did because I really love this experience. Um, and I'm internally grateful for it and I will talk about it forever. So, I guess that's all. Love you and miss you if I haven't seen you already, but see you all soon.